Coming up next, my WWE Fastlane pay-per-view review thoughts and opinions. You know what's coming up next? That's right. Roll well, that damn intro. <laughs> So WWE Fastlane is in the record books. I'm gonna go right into my thoughts and opinions and with the review overall and getting right into it with the first match that we have for the kickoff for the United States Championship, which is two out of three falls between Kalisto and Alberto Del Rio. This was actually a pretty good match between the two. Alberto Del Rio at times was nearly almost gonna get the US title, basically got the win with the two falls and everything, first by disqualification with the chair shot. And then he was able to uh, get the uh, other fall right after that. So I almost kind of thought uh, Kalista was going to somewhat lose it. But I really wanted Kalista to get the win. And I feel like he was. And it was well deserving because he actually was able to do that with the roll up for the win. And to retain the US Championship which is dope and awesome there. So big ups to Kalista. I really like what he's doing right now. Especially being US Champion. Really well deserved like I mentioned earlier. So... That's pretty cool. Hopefully this feud is over now. I wish it was on the main card to give it more of that time and everything and maybe have it somewhat be a little bit more of stipulation to it. But it is what it is when it comes to that for the kickoff match. But overall, really uh, dope props for Kalisa to retain. So that was really cool there. Now from there, we go into the Divas Tag Team Match where we had Team Bad, Naomi, and Tamina going head-to-head -head with Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. And these two teams actually pulled out what they could here. It was actually a great match between the two. At one point, almost Team Bad was looking to get the win and they were able to uh, get uh, sidetracked there, basically. And where we had Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch actually getting the win, which is dope and the right move to me, if you ask me, in my personal opinion. So, looking forward to see where uh, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch go for WrestleMania. Maybe some sort of triple threat or fatal four we going for the Divas Championship. So we'll see what things lead for that too as well. Then next from there we move on to the Intercontinental Championship matchup between Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. I actually enjoyed this match. It was a good match for the IC Championship. I did enjoy the spot too where Kevin Owens had Dolph Ziggler on the top rope and everything. That was sick. Even uh, the reversal too onto the steel steps. That was crazy as all hell. Uh, with that one and on top of that we have Kevin Owens actually retaining which is cool there can't go wrong with that and keeping the IC Championship going into WrestleMania most likely having it be KO Mania perhaps most likely so uh, that's a really good thing so can't go wrong with that and Kevin Owens keeping the IC Championship then we get into the next match where we had the six man tag team match between the Wyatts and Kane Big Show and Ryback and this one was okay for what it was I was actually really surprised that the Wyatt family weren't able to get the win here. I was pretty sure they were going to, but unfortunately the Big Show's team was able to come out victorious and it's fine they were not able to last like that long or anything, so that's fair enough to me uh, for what it was. But yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting to see where the Wyatt's going to be going. I'm sure uh, Brock and Bray Wyatt will go head-to-head -head at WrestleMania and it's going to be interesting to see... Uh, where Ryback and the rest are going to be going since especially with Ryback's new ring attire kind of looks like he's going to go after maybe Goldberg but that remains to be seen that, that I really care for his ring attire and everything so uh, that's something I've just been hearing about and uh, could potentially happen at WrestleMania but you never really know so overall it was an okay match for what it was and Ryback, The Big Show, and Kane were able to get the win so it is what it is when it comes to that Next we had the Divas Championship matchup between Charlotte and Brie Bella and with this one I'm sure as of that match too Brie Bella is looking to be done and to be able to go off and be able to be with Daniel Bryan most likely after Wrestlemania I'm sure that's going to be happening and everything so 
Uh, definitely one of her last matches uh, as of that Divas Championship match. But overall, as a whole, it was okay for what it was. Charlotte was able to retain and go on into WrestleMania most likely as Divas Champion, which is fine. I mean, I kind of wouldn't mind having Brie Bella just to win it just for that little bit and then have Charlotte win it back. But it didn't make sense to have Charlotte to keep the title, so I'm fine with that. And to see uh, where things are going to be going with her, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch and all that for WrestleMania. So it definitely should be damn interesting for sure. Then with the next match we had Chris Jericho and AJ Styles, number three between the two. And I really enjoyed the build up and everything and how these two went back and forth, especially during this match. And it could have went really either or it wouldn't really bother me whatsoever. And I like how Chris Jericho went to be a little bit more cocky on this one, a little bit more heelish too of the role and how things get to change up there. So uh, with this one, Chris Jericho and AJ Styles, uh, with this, who did get to win with AJ Styles getting the win, which is really cool. Can't go wrong with that. And basically, Chris Jericho also wanting the showing of respect and something that we don't really get to see too often in wrestling, which we should. And I really enjoy that when people go head to head like that with two wrestlers going at it and then have somewhat differences and end up having respect in the end. That's what really matters, and I really do enjoy that. So. AJ Styles, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see where he's going to go, maybe face Kevin Owens for the IC Championship, and going to be interesting, uh, going to be interesting to see where Chris Jericho is going to go too for WrestleMania to see what matchup he might be dealing with too, so there's that, so with that being said, overall great match, one of the matches on the night if you ask me. Then from there we had the Cutting Edge Peep Show with Edgy Christian coming back, which is awesome as all hell. Really cool to see Edge and Christian come back and they were able to talk things over with the New Day and everything basically going back and forth. And when things were going to go to a different way, they actually <laughs> went to another when people were thinking maybe Enzo and Cass were able to set their debut on the main roster. That, however, didn't really get to happen uh, as much as I wanted it to happen. And uh, actually Edge and Christian in a way kind of siding with the New Day. And actually going back and forth with the League of Nations a little bit, and that was pretty much it. And to promote the show Edge and Christian that they have on the WWE Network, which I'll definitely be watching for sure. Uh, so there was that, and um, that basically wasn't too bad if you ask me. Uh, like I said, I thought Enzo and Cass were going to come out, but hey, it is what it is. And then we had Curtis Axel and R-Truth basically out there as a random match, and... Curtis Axel for the Social Outcast were able to get the win and uh, Goldust was able to go out there and try and be at our truth's side and hopefully we'll have the Golden Truth eventually happen which I really like their segments that they've been doing lately they've been funny as all hell so hopefully that does get to go down and we'll see the Golden Truth at WrestleMania but you never know what happens with that so our truth kind of right now and that really wanted to be any part of gold dust as much as he's trying so we'll see where that goes now from there of course we move into the main event for the wwe world heavyweight championship number one contingency spot where we have roman reigns brock lesnar and dean ambrose going out in the triple threat match to see who will face triple h at wrestlemania and I gotta say, overall, it was a great match. I really enjoyed some of the spots, especially the two table spots that we did get to see. That was crazy. That was pretty dope, if you ask me. Uh, by uh, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns taking it to Brock Lesnar twice like that. So that was insane. And at times, it could have went either or. I was really hoping Dean Ambrose would actually get the win. That would have been something to see. But in the end, uh, even though I could have went to Brock Lesnar too, and I was kind of hoping... At the same time that the Wyatt family might come out and maybe attack Brock Lesnar, but that didn't happen. And in the end, we have Roman Reigns getting the win, even though most of us saw it coming anyway. Pretty much predictable at this point. And now Roman Reigns and Triple H going head-to-head -head at WrestleMania for the championship. So it is what it is, unfortunately. And that's what we're going to be getting for the main event at WrestleMania for the championship. So there it is with that. What are your own thoughts and opinions about WWE Fastlane 2016? Overall, if you ask me, okay show. It could have been a lot more better, but we'll see what the March to WrestleMania uh, has in store for the network special and WrestleMania itself. And 
course, we're going to be watching Edgy Christian 2 uh, as it airs, and it's going to be awesome to see their network special. Uh, as a side note, too, for uh, what's going to be ahead on my channel as an update, I am actually looking to take a break for the rest of March and going to be dealing with other stuff, too. i got other things that I want to be able to attend to, and we'll most likely be back for WrestleMania, and then who knows what happens at this point since I'm looking to stay busy up until then, and... Um, yeah, so just wanted to state things off there and uh, to let you guys know that I am looking to be taking the break for now. And it's something I've been wanting to take for a while, so uh, I will be back most likely for the rest of the media. If anything else changes, I'll let you know. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on Fastlane in the comment box, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, whenever the hell that may be.